Uh, we're getting ready for another race here, and, and as, as always with so many of these Colts, there's great stories. You know, in the, in the run-up to the Kentucky Derby, a lot of these races for the Colts win and you're in. Well, sometimes you don't even have to do that. Uh, the trainer of Lone Sailor, Tom Ackerman's pick, by the way, ex-Navy man, hopes to steal a little attention away from some of the other Colts running in tonight's Derby. And Alan Cutler is in the paddock with that great story. Hey, Alan. Hi, guys. Look, when you see this story, you might go, hmm, really? It's going to make you think. Lone Sailor gets in the Kentucky Derby because Lone Sailor finished second in the Louisiana Derby. He needed that. My friend, the trainer, Tom Amos, believes that the owner, the late Tom Benson, might have had a lot to do, might have had a lot to do with this horse trying to get the roses. A billionaire who gave away countless millions to support his love. Every cause you can think of in New Orleans. Tom Benson owned the New Orleans Saints and Anthony Davis's Pelicans. Lone Sailor was named after a Navy Distinguished Service Award that Benson received in 2007. Benson was in the Navy in World War II. He was the lone sailor, so he learned on the job. Tom Amos is convinced that Mr. Benson helped Lone Sailor get in the Kentucky Derby. Lone Sailor had to either win or come in second in the Louisiana Derby to run for the Roses. Toward the rail, Noble Indian Lone Sailor, Noble Indy to win the Louisiana Derby from Lone Sailor in a photo finish. If you're not from New Orleans, it's tough to imagine how popular Tom Benson was. The day he was buried was the day before the Louisiana Derby. That night, trainer Tom Amos started hearing voices. Going to the funeral uh, on Friday and not sleeping well Friday night with the race the next day and then Saturday morning, um, look, your mind always plays tricks on you with big races coming up and I just kept hearing this voice in my head saying, do you believe? And it was bothering me so much, I'll often go for a jog to kind of get those voices out of my head, but that voice wouldn't leave me and uh, and I remember after the race answering and saying, yes, I believe. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that was Mr. Benson talking to me, but uh, but you'd, you'd be a fool if you didn't think he was he was there that day and part of the race. Lone Sailor has won only one race, but finishing second in the Louisiana Derby put him in the Kentucky Derby. Amos admits two things. It was love at first sight when he saw Lone Sailor, and two, he has to keep on getting better mentally to have a shot at getting the roses. Now, Amos likes to say, look, most kids growing up wanted to be the starting quarterback in the NFL or hit the game-winning shot in the NCAA tournament. He goes, not me. I grew up as a little kid wanting to win the Derby. He's had a wonderful career, but it really bugs him that he hasn't won the Derby. He's a great dude, and I hope he finally gets it, if not today, sometime down the road. Let's go down the road on the backside. That'll be a long walk today and talk to my buddy, Keith Farmer. Keith? All right, thanks a lot, Alan. You're going to have to make that trip later on today to uh, get to the vehicle once you are uh, officially done and retired and finished with your coverage of Kentucky Derby 144. And we continue to get you ready for...